960. You've got the Orioles and the Blue Jays minus 145 to Toronto plus 130 to the Orioles. You have Kikuchi on the mound for Toronto. And you've got, what is that, way down, down yonder in that you say Kikuchi? I don't know. It's an old country song, right, on the Chattahoochee? Okay. I'm dating myself. Kyle Gibson on the mound for the Orioles. Uh, let's see. Where do we go? B-Dub, let's start with you first on this one. This one was an interesting matchup. Two good teams. I mean, the Amer the AL East has been a good division this year. Baltimore, one of the – I mean, they finished last year on that big high note, a big surprise, and this year they've continued to be good. I think a lot of people are rooting for Baltimore. I love the story. But what do you think in this game here? That Baltimore lineup profile is pretty nice against Kikuchi and the Blue Jays. What do you think here? Well, I got to give you credit for bringing Alan Jackson into the show. We'll have mm -hmm. Nelly a little bit later. So very diverse musical references uh, mm -hmm. in the show today. But, uh, you know, up in Toronto, there's Yossi Kikuchi. And he's been getting very, very hit harder than a hoochie coochie. To quote the Ooh, wow. to quote, to quote the, the wow. song, it, <laughs> if you look at how hard he has been hit, and well, what is a hoochie coochie? Uh, mm -hmm. He's been a 245 ISO allowed, and it's worst on the card today uh, over his last 500 plate appearances. So I think the Baltimore offense is quite capable. I, I'm not going to steal uh, Kyle's thunder, but I can tell you that I did put the over out on the base winner card. Not an official show play for me, but that's kind of where I'm obviously leaning. First five over is what I did uh, when I sent the card out today, guys. Yeah, and Kyle, I'm seeing that your hats have power as well, so if that's true, that's fantastic because we could use all of the power we can get. But I look at these two pitchers, 808 weighted OPS, 767. I see runs in this game, and I like the way you went here. The team totals are something I love to do in baseball. I tend to wait for the weather to get a little bit warmer, so the ball's traveling a little bit more, get into these summer months. But I think you're getting a good number, a good flat number, and a good price here. Tell me what you think, Orioles, Blue Jays. Yeah, guys, I like the over on the game in general, too. But yeah. I'm going to take the, the Orioles team total over here. Uh, the Orioles are fifth in the majors and weighted on base average against left-handed pitching. You've got a young lineup that has several guys who really hit lefties well. Kikuchi, a left-hander who, uh, he's been hit really hard by these guys in the past. How well have they hit him? The, the current lineup has a 446 Woba against Kikuchi in 73 plate appearances. That's fantastic. I know somebody's going to say 73 plate appearances is not that indicative. It's enough to show you that they at least see him very well, I think. Uh -huh. um, and Kikuchi, look at his stats for the year so far. 389 ERA. But a 546 FIP, he stranded 91% of runners on base. Now, unless he's got some ridiculous pitch that he just pulls out when everybody's on base, uh, you're not going to keep up 91% uh, stranding runners on base. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, he's due for regression. I will say, Kikuchi occasionally comes up with this amazing game where you wonder where okay. that's been. So it's certainly capable that I'll look like an idiot here, but... Yeah. Uh, you know, if so, we know this is a long season. Anything can happen in one game. But I do think he's due for regression. Uh, he's not going to keep that 389 ERA. And I like the matchup here for Baltimore. So I'm going to take the team total over four. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And you're right. Uh, Kikuchi's done that to me before as well. Like, okay, I'm fading Kikuchi. I think just a couple starts ago, he was pretty damn solid too. You're like, what's going on? He's very Jekyll and Hyde. So for that reason, I sort of stayed away. But I like that team total over four at minus 120. And we're locking that in for Kyle on this game. Our last now, one thing I did want to say about uh, Kyle Hunter's pick is he's right about that strand rate. And and I I don't know if I, I talked about Nick Blackburn a lot on this show. Do the guys that that do that have these really abnormal uh, strand rates? Uh, do they do they have a magic magnet they take out on the field and they just direct the ball right into the right into the fielder's glove? It's wonder. It's it's wild. Some guys can uh, the other team hits the ball hard right at the fielder. I yeah. think it's a magic magnet, guys. Yep. I feel like that happens to me when I play MLV the show with my buddies. I'm like, dude, I hit the crap out of that. Why does it always go to the other team? You know, it's just bad luck. I I, I don't get it. But nonetheless, uh, I digress. But we're locking in that Orioles team total over four at minus 120 for Kyle on this game. Our last.